Hello, this is John Morrison, and tonight I'd like to address a serious issue. It's math in America. Now, President Obama, during his last day of the Union Address, stated that Americans are behind in the world when it comes to math and science, and I agree. The reason being is because when we, as students, are taught math, we are taught in basically the wrong way. Now, why am I saying that? It's because, now, I do not want to disparage any math teacher. But the reason I say that we're taught in the wrong way is because the teacher wants us to show that they're teaching and we're learning. So what they tell little Tommy is that, okay, they want you to do 25 times 14. And they want him to, him to write down uh, 5 times 4 and put down the 0 and then, and then carry the f number. What happens is there are going to be a lot of steps that that conclude to the, to the teacher that the student has mathematical efficiency and they understand what's being taught. But instead of that, what should be taught is mathematical mindset, which looks at the the uh, question and say, okay, 25 times 14, uh, 25 is a is a quarter, so it's like a four, and four goes into 14 three times. Two left over, and that's going to be 50. So the answer is going to be 350. But see, we weren't, we weren't taught that way. And so that's what I want to do tonight. I'm going to try to teach you a mindset for math to help you to really understand how your mind already knows math, and you need to just assist it when it comes to doing any kind of mathematical problem. And what this means is, I feel that when, like when a student goes into higher forms of math, like trigonometry and algebra, and calculus that they're going to have confidence that they derive from being able to see math in a non-threatening way. We don't need to have anxiety. People always say, say to me, oh, you know, I'm not good at math. You know, I'm not good at math thing. I have math anxiety. Well, who do you ever hear say things like, oh, reading, that's, that's not my thing. I just never, never got into reading or uh, writing. You know, I, I can't write. I know I went to school, but I can't write. No. Okay. You need to learn math because math is something that is in life. So I'm going to do is show you a couple of quick mathematical mindsets that you can adopt and you can use for yourself today. First thing I'm going to show you is a simple addition of 25 and 16. Now it's not 41, not what I want to see. I want you to look at the the, the one in, in 16 and I want you to add it to the 5 and 25. So your new number is going to be one added to the add to the uh, five will be six. So it's going to be two six six is your answer, and that's how your mind works mathematically. Now, what does that mean? It means that when you're dealing with numbers, um, let's say you're doing a one digit times two digit, you're going to have a situation where you're going to have two numbers, two pairs, and you're going to start adding the numbers together in the middle. So I have written down some here, and we use this as examples. The first one is going to be 7 times 25. And what you're going to do, you're going to look at the 2 and say 14. So 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 times 5 is 35. You're going to add the 3 to the 4 and say 17. Okay? So 14 and 3 is 17, and 5 left over. The answer is going to be 175. That's the answer. The next one will be 6 times 87. Again, you're going to make two pairs. You're going to have uh, 6 times 8 is 48, and 6 times 7 is 42. So you're going to take the 4 and add it to the 48. It's going to be 52, and 2 left over. Okay? So it's 5, 2, 2 is your answer. Next one, 9 times 17. See how this goes? Again, you're thinking mathematically. So you're already saying you have a 9 and you have a 63. Well, 9 and 6 is 15, and 3 is left over. So that's the answer. Simple as that. Next one. 21 times 6, okay? So let's start with the 6 first. 6 times 21, and you say to yourself, 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 times 1 is 6, so the answer is going to be 126. Simple. And the last example is going to have a double number, for example. You're going to have 3 times 88, and you say, oh, that's hard to do. No, it's easy, because what you're seeing in your mind is 24 twice, okay? So you have 24 plus 2 is 26, 4 left over, and that's the answer. It's as simple as that. So what I want you to do is you know, go back and review this, okay, and then utilize the same technique of taking a number 
and then taking a two-digit number and giving the pairs and then put the numbers together in the middle. It's simple and if you do this after a couple of days you're going to see finally that math is not the hardest thing in the world and what it's going to do make you hungry to get more knowledge. Take away the anxiety. Take away the fear and put America where it needs to be in math and science is number one. Now I'm not saying that I alone can alleviate this, these problems because I can't but I know that as, as an American, someone who cares about people, I'm going to do my best to show you in the, in the best way possible how to get the anxiety of math out of your life. So I want you to uh, you know, come back and view these tapes as I make them. Give me some comments. Let me know if you have any questions because these are for you. So thank you for watching and you have a great day.